Welcome to Terror Town Talk with Coach Rocky Hill Dog. I'm your host, Dan Myers. Each week we'll be recapping Friday night's game, looking ahead to future opponents. This week's show is brought to you by Peachtree Pest Control, Island Ace Hardware, and Sapwell Equipment Company. If you'd like your business featured on Terror Town Talk, check out the link below for Coach Rock's email address. All right, Coach, let's get to it. Big win Friday night. How yeah. do you guys feel? Uh, you know, it's always good going in the bye week with a win. Uh, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to have to wait two whole weeks to get the stink off of you. Sometimes, uh, to get the stink off of you, you got to get back on the practice field after a loss. Uh, you know, I felt like our kids played better. I think we're getting better. We have a lot of stuff we have to work on, but I think we executed. We were on the same page, the quarterbacks and receivers a bunch. I think defensively we played faster. So there was a lot of good things to take from Friday night. Yeah, you talk about quarterback receivers, Tyler Devlin behind center, four incompletions, three touchdowns. That's a pretty good game. Yeah, he he threw the ball well. I think. He was more decisive with the ball, and I think the other thing is the, the receivers were better at running the correct route. So a lot of our routes depend on what the defense gives us, um, and uh, we've kind of been a little bit all over the place, but Friday night we were more consistent about reading the defense both at the quarterback position and at the wide receiver position. And, of course, all that set up by good offensive line play, clean pocket. <clears throat> getting there, getting there, and I think Tyler did a better job of staying in the pocket. So, you know, all that, all that's a work in progress for us, and, and – uh, you know, you just you just don't flip a switch and go from being a triple option team to being a, a good passing team. It's not a really easy transi transition. Yeah, uh, never easy to transfer. I mean, you, we're seeing that across the board at the college level this week. I yep. saw a lot of mistakes. Uh, offense is off <clears throat> off schedule. Um, you've got a young freshman, Greg Peacock, had a pretty decent game besides yep. the fumble. Yep. Uh, excited for his future? He's going to be really good. I mean, and it, I think the, the thing about Greg is – not just his ability, but I think he carries himself like an older kid. He's a kid you can have a, a, a good conversation with, a, an adult conversation with. A lot of young kids, when you talk to them, they kind of look at the ground and they mumble words. He's not like that. So he's, he's got a chance to be really special. Um, you know, I think the big thing with him is he's got to understand that, you know, he's, if he's going to be the lead wolf, he's got to set the pace for the rest of the pack. Um, so he's got to be the hardest worker. He's got to be a high character guy, all those things. When, you're, when your best players or your best kids you usually have pretty good football teams. Amen to that. Uh, couldn't keep the pressure up on defense. We started start letting them score a little in the second half. Uh, running clock, was that substitutions? Was that uh, taking the foot off the gas a little? Or? We, we played a lot of kids in the second half. So I mean, we started rotating guys in the front. So it was a little bit all over the place. Um, you know, it's uh, games like that, uh, honestly, really aren't a lot of fun to coach in. Uh, you get up on some first, you know, you know, Ed is Ed Dudley, the head coach over there, is one of my good friends, and it's it's. I knew he was hurting because they they didn't come and they didn't they didn't play very well. So, uh, you, you know, I want to I want to win the game, but I don't want to embarrass him. Is one thing. Um, the other side of that is in games like that when you jump up on somebody, the second half the kids just lose focus. Uh, you're trying to substitute guys while while. You know, the other side of that is, you know, you don't want to let them climb back in the game, but you don't want to get somebody injured during a run clock scenario. We lost uh, uh, Marlon Taylor a few years ago when we were beating somebody with a running clock late in the fourth quarter and probably kept us from winning the first round playoff game or the second round playoff game. Um, you know, so you kind of have to manage those things a little bit. So it was a little bit of all that stuff. I mean, there's things that we want to get our young kids a chance to go out and play. So the first time they do it isn't going to be next year, whenever, you know, whenever we need them in, in a moment that counts. Yeah, nothing, nothing beats that game time experience. You can only do so much on a practice field when, when you don't have the marching band there, the cheerleaders there, and, and all that stuff. The lights, man. The lights. The lights are important. Uh, defense starting to click. Saw saw a big sack from the backside. Um, getting a little better, not thinking as much. You said they're playing quicker. Uh, what are we going to work on this week during our, our bye week? Well, I think we've just got to continue to work on fundamentals, and we have to get better playing interior run defense. Our tackling has to get better. Um, again, our fits, you know, our eye discipline is really hurting us. There are times where we're reading, we're supposed to be reading a tight end or a wing, and our eyes are in the backfield looking in the backfield. And so, you know, we get a down block by the tight end, the safety's got to fit outside of that guy. Well, he's looking in the backfield, so he's not in a position to leverage the football. Uh, same thing in inside linebacker sometimes where we're not watching the back, we're watching the quarterback, and, and we're not getting our read, our run read off those. And, and that kind of goes all over the place a little bit here or there. So I think it's gotten better, but it's something we still need to work on, or it's going to cost us in a really big game. <clears throat> all right, Coach, thank you for that. We're going to pause for a message from our sponsors. Rocky Dalgo, the Glen Academy Red Terrors. 
Just like the quarterback, a person's home is their most valuable asset. We like to use the big uglies up front to keep the pests out of our backfield. And when it comes to my backyard, I trust Peachtree Pest Control. Termites, rodents, ants, and any other types of pests, Peachtree Pest Control tackles them all for you. Protect your house and all your pest control needs. Contact Peachtree Pest Control. Go, go, go! Rocky Hidalgo, head football coach of the Glen Academy Red Terrors. As a coach, you have to wear a lot of different hats. Sometimes a coach, a mentor, a laundromat, sometimes a chauffeur. And that's how Urgent Med treats healthcare. Urgent Med is the place to go when you're feeling under the weather. But we offer so much more. Sports injuries, back pains, and headaches, we're here to get you back in the game. Now, Urgent Med is accepting primary care appointments. Glen Academy is proud to have Urgent Med 1 as a proud sponsor of Glen Academy Football. We now have two locations to serve you on St. Simons Island by Win dixie and Brunswick exit 36. Go, Go Tears. Tears! All right, welcome back. Thank you to our sponsors. Uh, Scout Team Player of the Week, who you got this week? Yeah, you know, we were off all weekend long. We didn't have a chance. We didn't meet Sunday to even discuss that stuff. So we <laughs> usually do that stuff on Sunday. I gave the coaches on Sunday and Monday off, so we haven't even had a chance to discuss it. I think we got a great, uh, a, a good scout look from a lot of guys. Uh, Xavier Pinckney's a kid that went out and did a great job at running back with us. Uh, Tristan Brown did a nice job at running back, um, you know. But we didn't we didn't decide on one. I think uh, Quay Evans as a kid came in, did, it worked real hard on the defensive line uh, in the scout team. So we'll we'll figure that out today because today's the day we'll kind of get back in and, and meet as a staff. Yeah, no, uh, we had holiday weekend, no game this week. It's our bye week. Yep. Uh, Kudos to Coach for setting up that schedule. I know that the staff was very appreciative am, of that. I am, if nothing else, I'm really good at scheduling for the <laughs> bye week is Labor Day and Georgia Florida weekend. So, I, you know, I have that the feather in my cap. That's, yeah, that's the one I that's can two do. wins I right can there. Do it, yes. Um, what's practice schedule look like for the team this week? I, I know coaches are meeting today, as you just said. Yeah. Uh, what's players coming in all, every day this week? Yeah, we'll work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll, we give them off Labor Day and we give them off Friday. So we'll work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll practice, uh, you know, because we're still virtual. The kids will be the – they if a player has a fourth block class, they'll be in the building at 2.30. If they don't have – if they – excuse me, if they have fourth block weight training, they'll be in the building at 2.30. If they don't have fourth block weight training, they arrive at 4 o'clock. But we'll have normal practice schedule three days and give them a three-day weekend fantastic uh get, get over those bumps and bruises from the first couple games yep. of the season uh training room doesn't look too busy we're, we're staying pretty healthy i think for the most part you know uh, i think we're okay right now knock on wood uh with that but it's right now i think the team's in good shape and I, i'm hoping we're through the whole covid stuff we kind of had that break and looks like we're kind of coming out of that we haven't had a lot of kids come down with covid this past week so hopefully we'll kind of move on that and get back to normal and normal existence and uh, get back playing some football. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to redefine normal, I think. Though. Ah, you know, I, it can't be like this all the time. <laughs> I just don't, I don't believe that. Uh, we're going to take another break here from our sponsors. Football coach Rocky Hidalgo of the Glen Academy Red Team. As a football coach, it's always nice to have a wide variety of tools to get the win on a Friday night. Running backs making plays, some big guys on the offensive line, and some nasty D linemen make the job a whole lot easier. Add some new tools to your team at Sapelo Equipment Company. Tractors, mowers, utility vehicles, construction, hay farm implements, and more. Make all of your jobs a whole lot easier by visiting the awesome folks at Sapelo Equipment Company. Go All right, thank you to those sponsors. We really appreciate all you guys' help. Uh, JV freshman off this week as well? Every, I gave everybody off this week, yeah. That, so that was fantastic. Week, yeah. All right, we're going to get to know Coach a little bit better since we got a, a bye week. That's kind of scary. I just want to prep you guys. Coach and I don't discuss any of these questions beforehand, so he's got no idea what's coming. So if you want me to ask Coach a, a question, put it in the comments. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, and, and I'll filter those out. I, gotta, <laughs> I, I, I can't get fired by Blackstone, so... Uh, some of those questions I might just chuckle at. But all right, Coach, this is a, a an either or. I want you to pick one or the other: Coke or Pepsi. Coke. Chick Fil A or Popeyes. Uh, for chicken, Popeyes. Now, if we're talking chicken biscuits, Bojangles Cajun Fillet biscuit. My son, who I'm disowning because he thinks Chick Fil A's biscuit is better than the Bojangles Cajun Fillet. I'm, I almost dropped him off in downtown Charlotte this weekend, so or something like that. So uh, a good friend of mine, her dad's the CFO of Bojangles. Oh, we need one in Brunswick. Uh, Rachel, 
uh, I'm, I'm going to tag you in this. Uh, talk to your dad. We need one in Brunswick. Um, I remember when he first got the job, he got on a flight and handed out Chick-fil-A biscuits to everyone on the plane. And I'm just like, I've never wanted the, to fly more in my life. The, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I would I would beat up a, 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 an old person for a good Cajun filet biscuit in the right scenario. Those things are the, the Bojangles. Chicken biscuit is the way to go. With some bowberry biscuits oh, and some bow rounds. See, see I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cinnamon biscuit right. guy. That's a breakfast right there. We've just That's a breakfast. We let's, might have to hit the let's road. Drive, let's this. drive to Savannah. Yeah. Uh, you'd rather be on the ocean or in the lake? Uh, ocean. Mountains or beach? Mm, beach. Hot or cold? Hot. Real hot. You like to take selfies or group photos? <laughs> I don't really do either one, I'll be honest with you. Uh, this one's really more for your kids. Uh, what What's on the TV at the house with Cooper? Disney Channel or Nickelodeon? Mm, he's like watching YouTube. People like that, that, wrestle that's... grizzly bears and sharks and stuff like that. Has he gotten into where they dig the uh, the houses out of the... Oh my gosh, yeah. And now I'll be honest, I'll watch that. The two the two dudes in South America or wherever they're from. Yeah, that's... That's that's amazing. And it, you know, they, they should put those guys in charge of constructing the... Uh, the infrastructure. He could two sticks and they could redo the whole interstate system. And as a parent, you know, there's no audio on that, which I absolutely love. I'm yeah. like, yep, turn that one on. We can really crush that thing. It's, that's a great video. Would you rather be uh, bit up by mosquitoes or have a sunburn? Mm, sunburn. The Rock or Kevin Hart? Uh, it's probably The Rock. Like his cheat meals. <laughs> You ever see his cheat meals? <laughs> yes. It's yes. unbelievable. It's cheat meals. Yes. Uh, you rather wear stripes or polka dots? Uh, I'm probably not doing either, usually. I'm a solid guy, but a nice plaid during the winter. Ooh, there you go. Understand. There you go. A little gingham print. That's it. Uh, sour cream or salsa? Uh, both. Salsa, though, probably. Cookies or chips? Cookies. All right. Skydiving or bungee jumping? Uh, I've done skydiving, never bungee jump, so I'll go skydiving. Would you rather wash the dishes or mow the lawn? Uh, cut the grass. Rather play Monopoly or checkers? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd go Monopoly because that usually ends in a fight. So I'm excited <laughs> about that. A good table flip. Oh, it's nothing like bankrupting your wife in a Monopoly <laughs> game, let's be honest. Uh, cooking or cleaning? You're rather, you're rather be the one that cooks? Cooking. cooking. Yes. Uh, are you a messy chef? Mm, yes. My wife would say so. I was I about to say, we're going to have to talk to Kelly on yes. that one. Yes. Uh, would you rather go bowling or play mini golf? Bowling. I can roll. You can roll? Used to. I haven't done it in a long time, but I used to be able to. We might have to talk. I used to be able to roll a little bit. Strike zone. We might need to do yeah. a Coach Rocky Hildago fundraiser. One location there. Yes. yes. All right. Uh, Taylor Swift or Beyonce? I know these are two in your wheelhouse. Uh, I don't. Honestly, I don't listen to either one. I couldn't name a song. I'd say Beyonce because she did that commercial a few years ago. My dad used to get excited when that commercial would come on. <laughs> That's for you, Dad. Hot dogs or hamburgers? Uh, hamburger. Starburst or Skittles? Uh, I don't eat. I don't like either one. Nah. What's like your favorite candy? Uh, almond Joy. That that's sad. <laughs> that's almond Joy. That's almond sad. Joy. Wow. Yeah. All right, Coach. You got anything else for the crowd? Today? Man, just and everybody, the kids enjoy their off week, and hopefully, you guys will see y'all at versus Coffee County next Friday night between the bricks at seven thirty. Yeah, that's a big game coming up. Uh, we'll talk about that next week. Uh, Coffee always comes prepared to. To hit somebody, so yeah, that'll be a fun team. one. Uh, thanks for watching Terror Town Talk with Coach Rocky Hill Doggo. Uh, we'd again like to thank our sponsors, Peachtree Pest Control, Island Ace Hardware, and Sapelo Equipment Company. Uh, if you'd like your business featured, please check out Coach Rock's email in the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks.